Hi, my name's Charlie Paul and I'm in charge of the Active Pathway at St John's Academy. The Active Pathway is designed for students with learning difficulties or behaviour difficulties or they simply need a bit of extra support with the curriculum. The pathway is designed so that we reduce the number of options students have to take, therefore we reduce the anxiety in some cases or we allow them to focus on the key skills. And one of the most commonly asked questions by parents is what is my child going to be able to do after they finish the active pathway? I found it a lot of fun, um, if anything we did a lot of new courses, a lot of work, we did a lot of uh, outdoor activity, a lot of you know, interactive sort of work. And I met a lot of great people, you know, uh, great friends who I still try and keep in contact with, you know. I have a feeling if I was on a regular course, I just wouldn't have enjoyed those final two years of school like, at all. So I feel like I had to really kind of help it. At school I went on to New College Swindon to study art and photography for the first year. And then after, and then year two and year three onwards I studied, I'm studying level two art and design at the moment as well. At college my main thought is really just get a job at this point, I've got to make some money somehow really. Uh, but um, yeah, I've got all these other ideas in my head, like possibly going on an apprenticeship to learn more about art really. The university is sort of there, like at the back of my mind, but it's not its not big at the moment, not really what my main focus is on. It was a great experience, I don't think any of us in my class would ever forget that, or miss the ball, or any of our other teachers really, but no, so it was a good time, good time. So when I came out of school, I was a bit up in the air what I wanted to do. I did beauty therapy for a year. Um, but I did then my functional skills, so I did my English and math, so I got better in those. Um, and then I took a bit of time out. Um, I volunteered at the British Red Cross. Um, I then went on to do some working, so I worked in a hotel um, as a barmaid, which was interesting. Um, and then I went on to Lacken College. Um, and studied horses. Um, at the start of the year I went away for three months and worked with people with disabilities um, over in Kenya. In year nine I was a bad student, well from year seven to year nine, and I got told that if I didn't pack my stuff in I was going to leave St John's and I'm proud of where I've come today actually, right. and if it wasn't fact I definitely would not be here. At college I now study health and social care level one and I'll be here for about three years. I want to be a carer for the elderly. So my concept of active before I started, I used to just think that it was just for people who don't care, whereas that's not really the case. In my first and second year of college, I did child childcare. So um, I did level one in the first, first year and level two in the second year. Going on to higher education, I obviously went and did a um, a BTEC course after, whereas like I potentially could have gone straight from school to do A levels, it wouldn't have stopped me. Um, it would have stopped me from doing it at sixth form, but I know for a fact that I could have come to college and gone straight into A levels and it wouldn't have been a problem. I'm planning to move on towards an apprenticeship, hopefully something to do with the NHS because that is something I found I'm interested in. Um, or if not, maybe working my way up. I work in jewels at the moment, so maybe working my way up in jewels. When it was suggested my daughter followed the active pathway rather than the traditional GCSEs pathway, I was concerned that um, avenues for further education would be close to her. I wasn't aware that studying the core subjects would be enough for her to go to college afterwards. Once my daughter started the active pathway, I realised that uh, anxieties around going to school were reduced. Um, she found it much easier to go to school and was happier following the pathway. Since leaving school, my daughter is now at college. She's in her third year there. She is now following the OCR Level 3 TV and Film. If my daughter had not followed the active pathway, I feel that she would have disengaged with education completely. I don't think that she would have passed any GCSEs at all and she wouldn't be where she is now, studying at college and really enjoying education in a field that she's interested in. The Active Pathway and the Teachers on the Pathway definitely helped change me in person. I, and I like to think that hopefully that person is quite nice. The Pathway helped with the transition to college. College was always going to be something I found hard because I'm not very good at change and transitioning from one place to another. 
Um, and if the pathway wasn't in place to help me grow as a person um, and mature and get more confident, then I would have found it much more difficult and I probably wouldn't have lasted. I didn't really talk to anyone for the first nine weeks of the first year of college. Um, I just found it really difficult to make friends and just, just be there. In a way, the only reason why I completed that first year of college was because I didn't want to let the teachers who ran the pathway down because they'd put so much like help and support into making me me that I, I, I did it for them. It was only really like the second and now I'm in my third year that I'm doing it for myself because it's something I want to do in the future. If I don't get this qualification then I will find it very very difficult to do something I enjoy later in life. I don't really have one of these five year plans people talk about but I know for a fact that if I'm full time in the job I'm at now then something terrible has gone wrong and if I'm still part time then that's okay because I know something is happening on the side. Hopefully I won't be there at all, hopefully I would have moved on to bigger better things but you never know what the future could bring. Thank you for actually staying with me when I was probably the worst student. Um, a lot of teachers gave up but they didn't.